Hey Defenders, welcome back. In this video, we're excited to introduce to you guys Wazoo's Security Configuration access Assessment Module built directly into Copilot. So stick around and we'll jump into it. As many of you guys probably know, Wazoo one of Wazoo's great features is the Security Configuration Assessment Module, which essentially is evaluating policies and configurations set to your endpoints to see if they pass particular policy definitions. And there's more detailing what the SCA assessment is, which I'll link to in the description below on Wazoo's documentation. They dig really deep into the nuts and bolts as to what's happening under the hood. You can also apply your own policies as well, which is really convenient, especially have you, if you have clients that have unique compliance requirements that need to be met. I wanted to show you guys how we have incorporated this directly into Copilot. So if you haven't pulled the latest release of Copilot, do make sure you do this. I think I released this like yesterday or two days ago. Once you pull the latest update, if you go into the agents tab and select an agent, I'm just gonna select my Windows host here. Here on our overview banner of our agent, we see a new tab called SCA. So if we go ahead and select the SEA, we will retrieve back from Wazoo the policies that have been ran against this particular agent. This is a Windows 29 device, so it makes sense that this was the policy that was it was ran against. If I look at like my Wazoo manager, for example, which is on a Debian 11 box, you can see that the Debian 11 policy has been ran against that. So Wazoo is gonna do this uh, numeration automatically and run the correct policy check depending on the operating system of the endpoint. So you don't need to worry about setting that, but that's just a good way to verify that. All right, the correct scan has ran against this agent. Once I see the policy, we get a little overview as to the number of uh, checks that have been ran, how many have passed, how many are failed. You'll notice too that the addition of failed and plus the pass doesn't equal 261. That's because not all checks apply to the implant. We'll kind of see more of that in a sec. And you get a score as to the percentage of what checks that do apply to the endpoint, how many have passed versus how many have failed. And if we select the little information icon here, we get a little, we get a bigger overview as to the details of the check, such as the start and end scan dates. You can also see a reference there from where the policy is getting pulled from. We get a description. Uh, this is directly coming back from Wazoo's API. So none of this is gonna be customizable. This is just all the details that we are getting back from Wazoo's API. Uh, but more importantly, then we get the SEA result. This is gonna detail all of the checks that run and then the status, whether they're passed, not applicable, or failed. And we also include a filter as well. Let's say I wanna see all of the failed policy checks. I can select this filter, and then I can get more details as to not only why this failed, but also how can I remediate it. So some of the descriptions of the checks are pretty obvious, like interactive login, don't display, last logged in is set to enable. So that's pretty obvious. But if I select this details, we get a overview of this specific policy check. We can look at the description. We can look at the rationale of it as to why they recommend that this is a policy that should be fixed. And then we can also look at the remediation, which is gonna be a really helpful tab. This is gonna tell us, all right, how can we actually remediate this failed policy? In this case, they're recommending a group policy to be set that makes this registry change to the endpoint. Using group policy, you can push it out to all of your systems that may have been impacted by this failed policy check. Um, you can also get a look at the compliance policies that this check is ran against, such as CIS, uh, GDPR, uh, HIPAA, NIST. So all of your popular compliance frameworks. And then here you can look at a rule and here's the registry setting that we can make as well. So pretty helpful. Um, all of these are gonna have that. Uh, so if I select the details of the next one, look at the remediation tab as well. Here we get uh, the setting that we should apply. And then here we're also seeing the setting that should be applied to the registry. If I go back to our Debian host real quick, and let's pull this out. Sometimes the checks will also include commands that you can run. From the Linux perspective, we see that we now have a command that we can run. So if we select the details, um, here within the overview, we also see the command that Wazoo ran to actually run the check against the endpoint. So it's kind of helpful if you want to like validate, okay, what exactly was this SEA check? Like 
what was the actual command that it ran to determine the result of this particular policy, either passing or failing. You can see that here. I don't know if the Windows ones do include it. Pretty much all the Linux ones do, which is helpful. I imagine some of the Windows ones do. Let's see if we can find one. So pretty much everything that's a registry setting, you're not gonna have a command for because it's just looking through the registry of the endpoint. But if there is something that does include a command, then you would see those details here. So a lot of the Windows ones, they it won't apply to, but most of the Linux ones will, of course. A quick video for you guys today. Just want to introduce to you guys how we are introducing Wazoo Security Configuration Assessment directly into Copilot. That's going to wrap it up for today's video. I appreciate your time and I'll see you in the next one.